Welcome back everybody. Today I wanted to tell you about some new releases which I've put out. These are custom node releases for Comfy UI. So I have my own DJZ nodes, which is my current custom node collection uh, pack. But the thing is that if you don't want to miss my next video, hit that subscribe button because YouTube ain't going to tell you. I wanted to make some more specific things that weren't written by me. Like I guess you could call them rappers, I guess, I guess. And what I tend to do is put them up on my GitHub. So let's talk about it. There's going to be a whole, well, there's like 49 rate repos on my uh, GitHub now. Um, but generally the pattern is I'll try to make it work in a Gradio first. And then I'll try to make it into a node, essentially. I like to mess around with the Gradio to prove that my code is working. And then I'll try and convert it into a custom node. That's essentially the process. Um, you may be familiar with DJZ workflows, DJZ nodes. So these are the new ones. DJZ Kokoro TTS, which we'll take a look at. Um, and DJZ XTTS. I'm also going to show you briefly the new 5 Below 5 Collective, which is submitted custom nodes written by members of my community. So there's actually another pack, um, but mostly I'm talking about my text-to-speech nodes, okay? Now, these are a little bit different from, well, whatever. Let's just get into it. You can probably get XTTS and Kokoro from other people, by the way, but I needed to prove that I could take it from, you know, um, an example through to a Gradio, through to a comfy node. So let's look at Kokoro TTS first. So to get this one, obviously you want to install it with the comfy manager, but there are manual instructions and an install portable batch file for Windows users of comfy portable, because that's the same thing I have. Uh, when you run it, it will install the requirements, which I believe is just Kokoro TTS, but there may be a bunch of others for this specific one. Um, and that's essentially all you've got to do, you know, uh, install or clone the node into custom nodes, run the install portable, or just use the Comfy Manager, because you can do that. And you get three nodes, V1, V2, and V3. So let's take a look at those real quick. So I put together an example workflow that's in the node pack and you've got switches for one, two and three. OK, um, with version one, what I did was I just got the I just got the languages, sorry, the voices working um, in the most bare bones way. So it's just literally type your text in, choose your name and there is a speed parameter and it'll make that for you. The second one, what I did, was I used the blending example that was contained in the Kokoro TTS um, sort of project, right? So this is their sum weighted, um, this is the sum weighted. So you can merge every voice with every voice, but there's no, there's no slider. You see what I mean? You just get like a 50-50, essentially. And then with the V3, what we have is we have my own uh, slurp function. So what it is, it's a spherical linear interpolation. You take two voices and then you have, I think it's, well, can you go to zero? Yeah, so there's 10 positions which you can, you know, choose like a slider to blend the two voices that you want. So obviously with this model, these voices are built into a bin file, which is an embedding for the main model. And they are, I believe they're numpy shapes. I think the voices are numpy shapes because obviously once we've combined these, we're going to be applying a custom thing to do the text to speech. So it might even be possible to do a V4 and save those numpy shapes for use later. But we might come back to that. So uh, just to give you an idea of what it sounds like, let's put it on Sky. You'll probably recognize this one. Hello, world. So it sounds a little bit like the OpenAI sky. Um, but there's a whole bunch of different voices. I'm not going to go through them right now. I want to keep this nice and short. You guys can discover that on your own. Um, <clears throat> I did also fix unclean speech as well. So there was a problem where unclean speech was unable to take the input from the, from the audio. Um... If I put it on cassette, we've got cassette, film, intercom. It's just a bunch of filters to make it not sound so clean. Because obviously generated audio is like pristine from a studio booth. 
So we want to try and rough it up a little bit, right? So. Hello, world. Just adds a little bit of hiss and pop and crackle. Uh, the different settings and the different variables allow you to uh, dirty up the voice a little bit. All right. So, and moving on, we've got DJZ XTTS. Now, this one I did yesterday on the live stream. We also published the nodes yesterday on the live stream. So, the XTTS is nice because it allows you to do multilingual. It has multiple language support. And that's pretty much what I'm using this for. I'm using Kokoro TTS to actually do clean TTS. But then I'll use this one for other functions like language support. So, I've got a little project I'm working on which requires both both TTS types, and so I've gone ahead and made my own node. Now, obviously, with the first one, I was able to add my slurp to the V3, which allows me to put my own little spin on things. I'm sure others may have come up with a similar solution, because it's pretty obvious, to be honest. But um, what I'm going to say is, DJZ XTTS may have more functions. We've only got the V1, so this is the most simple version of it. So let's take a look at that. And again, we have... XTTS, we have uh, some French and we have French. So we go ahead and uh, open that one up. Okay, it's a little bit slower, but here you go. Bonjour, ceci est un test du système de synthèse vocale XTT. Okay, and there it is. So that covers them both. Um, don't forget that there's Gradio versions. But I will say, though, my Kokoro TTS, it doesn't actually have my slurp blending because for some reason the, my code didn't work because I broke it. <laughs> so there'll be an update on that one, I bet, no doubt. Um, last but not least, thanks to everybody in the community that's contributed. The 5 Below 5 collective pack is growing. So many of our members have been writing custom nodes. And so what I'm doing is I'm maintaining a small custom node pack with a brief breakdown of what they all do and everything like that. So, uh, don't forget to check out the new DJZ stuff. I think if you go into the manager and just type DJZ, oh, for some reason they're not there yet. But I have uploaded them, so they should appear soon. Very strange, that. All right, well, anyway, all in, all in good time, I'm sure. So that was just to make you aware, uh, like I said... Until now, I've only ever had one custom node pack, but now I'm starting to make more. So keep an eye on the github.com slash mushroom fleet for new releases. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.